Unit 6, the environment. 2, listen and read. Pages 47 and 48. Mr. Brown is talking to some volunteer conservationists. I want everyone to listen carefully, please. First of all, I'd like you to divide into three groups. Each group should take five plastic bags. Once you have filled the bag, come back to me as you will need another. I need group one to walk along the shore. Group two should check the sand. And group three has to check among the rocks. Mr. Jones is going to collect all the bags and take them to the garbage dump. Mrs. Smith has kindly provided a picnic lunch for us, but we won't eat until the whole area is clean. If you can't find your place, I will help you get there with this map. Don't worry. Uh, I'm disappointed that people have spoiled this area. However, we are here to do something about this pollution. We must all work very hard. And if we work hard, we'll make this beach a clean and beautiful place again. Okay, now let's get started. Two, listen and read. Pages 47 and 48. Mr. Brown is talking to some volunteer conservationists. I want everyone to listen carefully, please. First of all, I'd like you to divide into three groups. Each group should take five plastic bags. Once you have filled the bag, come back to me as you will need another. I need group one to walk along the shore. Group two should check the sand. And group three has to check among the rocks. Mr. Jones is going to collect all the bags and take them to the garbage dump. Mrs. Smith has kindly provided a picnic lunch for us, but we won't eat until the whole area is clean. If you can't find your place, I will help you get there with this map. Don't worry. Uh, I'm disappointed that people have spoiled this area. However, we are here to do something about this pollution. We must all work very hard. And if we work hard, we'll make this beach a clean and beautiful place again. Okay, now let's get started. Five, read pages 51. Read this poem about the environment. Mommy, oh mommy, mommy, oh mommy, what's going to happen if all the pollution goes on? Well, the world will end up like a second-hand junkyard with all of its treasures quite gone. The fields will be littered with plastics and tins. The streams will be covered with foam. Now throw those soda bottles over the hedge. Save us from taking them home. But mommy, oh mommy, if I throw the bottles, won't that be polluting the wood? Nonsense! That isn't the same thing at all. You just keep quiet and be good. If you're going to start getting silly ideas, I'll take you home right away. Because pollution is something that other folk do. We're just enjoying our day. Five. Read pages 51. Read this poem about the environment. Mommy, oh mommy, mommy, oh mommy, what's going to happen if all the pollution goes on? Well, the world will end up like a second-hand junkyard with all of its treasures quite gone. The fields will be littered with plastics and tins. The streams will be covered with foam. Now throw those soda bottles over the hedge. Save us from taking them home. But mommy, oh mommy, if I throw the bottles, won't that be polluting the wood? Nonsense! That isn't the same thing at all. You just keep quiet and be good. 
If you're going to start getting silly ideas, I'll take you home right away. Because pollution is something that other folk do. We're just enjoying our day. Listen, page 50. Listen, then complete the notes. Our oceans are becoming extremely polluted. Most of this pollution comes from the land, which means it comes from people. First, there is raw sewage, which is pumped directly into the sea. Many countries, both developed and developing, are guilty of doing this. Secondly, ships drop about six billion tons of garbage into the sea each year. Thirdly, there are oil spills from ships. A ship has an accident and oil leaks from the vessel. This not only pollutes the water, but it also kills marine life. Next, there are waste materials from factories. Without proper regulations, factory owners let the waste run directly into the rivers, which then leads to the sea. And finally, oil is washed from land. This can be the result of carelessness or a deliberate dumping of waste. Four. Listen. Page 50. Listen, then complete the notes. Our oceans are becoming extremely polluted. Most of this pollution comes from the land, which means it comes from people. First, there is raw sewage, which is pumped directly into the sea. Many countries, both developed and developing, are guilty of doing this. Secondly, Ships drop about six billion tons of garbage into the sea each year. Thirdly, there are oil spills from ships. A ship has an accident and oil leaks from the vessel. This not only pollutes the water, but it also kills marine life. Next, there are waste materials from factories. Without proper regulations, Factory owners let the waste run directly into the rivers, which then leads to the sea. And finally, oil is washed from land. This can be the result of carelessness or a deliberate dumping of waste. Four. Listen. Page 50. Listen, then complete the notes. Our oceans are becoming extremely polluted. Most of this pollution comes from the land, which means it comes from people. First, there is raw sewage, which is pumped directly into the sea. Many countries, both developed and developing, are guilty of doing this. Secondly, Ships drop about six billion tons of garbage into the sea each year. Thirdly, there are oil spills from ships. A ship has an accident and oil leaks from the vessel. This not only pollutes the water, but it also kills marine life. Next, there are waste materials from factories. Without proper regulations, Factory owners let the waste run directly into the rivers, which then leads to the sea. And finally, oil is washed from land. This can be the result of carelessness or a deliberate dumping of waste. Four. Listen. Page 50. Listen. Then complete the notes. Our oceans are becoming extremely polluted. Most of this pollution comes from the land, which means it comes from people. First, there is raw sewage, 
which is pumped directly into the sea. Many countries, both developed and developing, are guilty of doing this. Secondly, ships drop about six million tons of garbage into the sea each year. Thirdly, there are oil spills from ships. A ship has an accident and oil leaks from the vessel. This not only pollutes the water, but it also kills marine life. Next, there are waste materials from factories. Without proper regulations, factory owners let the waste run directly into the rivers, which then leads to the sea. And finally, oil is washed from land. This can be the result of carelessness or a deliberate dumping of waste.